Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about TCS SQL interview questions. In the recent days, one of my friends attended the interview with TCS. Below are the list of questions asked by the panel. If you go to the questions, these are the list of questions which is asked by the panel. So here, there are some basic questions as well as there are some experienced questions we have. But please keep in mind, you need to answer each and every question in a clearly, in the clear manner. The first question, if you see here, how do you rate yourself in the SQL server on the scale of 1 to 5? 1 is least here and the 5 is best. Based on your confidence level, you need to answer this question. Again, this question is going to determine your capability on the SQL experience or SQL knowledge. So if you are confident on this particular SQL server, then better go with a 5. If you answer it with a 3 or 4, it means that you are above average. Even that is also a good answer, 3 or 4. But if you answer either 1 or 2, that time the panel may think of either to go with a technical round or not. Because the people at the people assume the panel is going to assume if the person is good, then only you want to take into the interview or take it forward. Otherwise, so it does not make any sense even to both of you people. <clears throat> so while answering here uh, the scale of five please be careful and based on your confidence level let's try to answer more than three three four five so if you are not confident on three four five better to prepare up to that particular level and attend the interview otherwise you will be losing the chance next what is the difference between truncate and delete second question is what is the difference between truncate and delete this is a basic question, but it is important question. The people, whenever we start the SQL Server uh, tool, so the people might be in knowing this point. What is the truncate and delete? Truncate is the one which we deletes the entire uh, data from a table in a single shot. So there is no uh, rules we can apply while truncating the data from a particular table. And there is no commit rollback concept in the truncate. Uh, scenarios but when we go to the delete you can delete all the table data in one shot or you can delete the row by row in um, based on the conditions and again commit and rollback concept apply to the delete <clears throat> next question what are joins and importance in the sql server again this is also a basic concept and it is a very really important one joins are the one which will help us to Combine the two tables data based on certain conditions. The tables can be a different like if you're talking about employee department or student master or something like that. So based on the common columns, we will join between the tables and like we will pull the required columns. So if there are no joins in the SQL server, then the concept may be different and there, this is very tricky to get the data from multiple tables. The importance here is which will help us to combine the tables based on the conditions, based on the columns. So based on the conditions, so you can select the list of columns which you require. There are different type of joins. Inner join, self join, outer joins. In the outer join, you have a right outer join, left outer join, full outer join. And the next one, last one is Cartesian joins. So if you need in detail information about the joins, so you can check uh, in my videos collection. We have a detailed videos on each and every type of joins with examples. Next one. What is the difference between join and union? So this is again a basic question, but it is important. So join is join also will help us to club the data and union also will help us to club the data. But what is the major difference? We need to see that. How to find the second highest salary from the employee table? So this is also again one of the important interview question. Second highest salary. You can get this with the help of the CTEs or you can go with the help of the subqueries. Yeah, 
the detailed explanation is available in my uh, video collection with CTE as well as with subqueries. Please go with that. Next. What is the difference between procedure and a function? Procedure and a function. Procedure is a block of statements. Function is also a block of statements. Procedure is a pre-compiled code, but function is not. Procedure can have in and out parameters, but function is going to contain only in parameters. Can we use out parameter in function? We cannot. We cannot put specially out parameter, but compulsory it is going to return a value. How to optimize the SQL queries? There are many ways to optimize the SQL queries. It is not a single way. It purely depends on the query. So, for example, if you are using unwanted join, let's reduce that. So, if you are uh, pulling unwanted columns, let's reduce that. And there are some scenarios where you can use CTE than uh, temporary tables. <clears throat> there are many ways to optimize it. So, there is a one more a detailed video in my collection how to improve the performance of the SQL queries. You can go with that. And next one, what is the difference between varchar and nvarchar? It is a data type related question, but yes, you need to answer. Nvarchar is a multilingual, varchar is a single language related stuff. There are many other differences, you can go with it. Next, have you used triggers by any chance? Yes, there are, there are some places where the people might need to use the triggers. So it's a kind of very major scenario. So when we are doing some audit on a particular table, the people used to do that so there is a table employee table i want to capture each and every transaction on the employee table so whenever they change a employee name whenever they change a date of birth whenever they change any field in the employee table i want to capture the old value as well the new value as well so that is very helpful for me while doing the audit so that is the reason why the people used to go with <coughs> triggers so there are other ways also, but you need to go with it. But the triggers are the uh, one which will help us to do that. There are different ways of triggers instead of uh, triggers after uh, triggers. Next. How many indexes can be created in a table? You can create many indexes like a clustered index and non-clustered index. So based on your need. So if you want to go with a, a clustered index, yes, you can create only one clustered index on the top of a table. But number of many non-clustered index you can create on the top of a table non-clustered index can be created on the numerical data types and as well as a uh, where care or string data types when you go to the clustered index so if you create a clustered index in a table it means that the data is going to store physically based on that means again so if you if you have a primary key on your top of a table it again it acts as a clustered index next so what are the constraints in the sql server there are many constraints in the sql server like a unique not null primary check default so each and every constraint having their own uniqueness so not null is meant for different purpose and unique is meant for some purpose primary key is meant for purpose and the check constraint and default constraint and uh, foreign key primary key constraints each and every constraints have their own uniqueness. So you need to go with each and everything. So based on their purposes. Next one. So what is the difference between unique and not null constraint? So unique is for unique, not null is for the, it does not allow nulls in a particular column. Even it does not allow a single null if you keep it as a not null constraint. But if you keep that column as a unique, it is going to allow one null at least because it's a unique it is not a not null that is a major difference between unique and not null next one how to get the current user id in the sql server it means that so we used to log in with a particular user id so if you want to identify that user id yeah, there are some system defined functions which will help you to identify the current user id in the sql server so there are user underscore id user <coughs> sys user there are many other functions are there which is providing by the sql server so they those you can with the help of those you can identify the current user id in the sql query window next 
have you used a SQL profiler? Yes, for the SQL developers, this profiler is one of the important uh, uh, GUI, graphical user interface, which will help us to identify the what are all the queries which are running on the current SQL server instance. So there are there might be some unwanted queries might be running or unused queries might be running. You can easily track it based on the SQL profiler on a particular like you can track it based on the user ID. You can track based on the data base. You can track based on the particular text. So there are many ways you can use for the SQL profiler. This is a, one of the important tool for all the SQL developers who are going to write the queries who are going to execute the queries. SQL profile is the GUI graphical user interface which is provided by the Microsoft for SQL developers. It's a very good one. So if you want a detailed information on the top of the uh, SQL profiler, so let's check for a video in my video collection. What is the execution plan in the SQL server? This is also one of the important tool or important facility provided by the Microsoft which will help you to observe the execution plan of a single query. Let us see there is a query which are of having select star from employee where employee ID equal to 10. So once you run the query and if you enable the execution plan, so if you see the execution plan, where exactly my query is getting lagged? So where exactly my query is taking long time? I can easily identify. So if there are any missing indexes, it is going to propose for us. So based on the missing indexes, if I create it, my queries will run faster and faster. So this is the purpose of execution plan. That is one of the important <coughs> execution plan facility in the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So these are the list of questions which is faced by my friend. So these questions may vary person to person. Because again, these questions depends on the panels interview during that uh, panels uh, time during the interview time. Thank you for watching. So if you have any questions, if you have any serious like a uh, complex questions with you, please comment in the comment box. I will try to answer not only questions. If you have any complex scenario in MSBI, SSIS, SSRS, SSAS, you can comment in the comment box. I will try to answer those questions. Thank you for watching. Please keep subscribe and please like our videos. Thank you.